Hello everyone, it is uh, NerdLock99 here, uh, Mason, bringing you a uh, custom mobs and stuff. So, this is a filter for MC Edit, which you can get on Hypixel's page. I will be making a video on how to install it, which is quite easy later. But, here we go! Yeah. So, if you want to make things like those guys, those guys, or these guys that spawn eventually. But, yeah. I'll see you some of the things they can, uh, I'm dumb. My, no. Yeah. Anyway. So I get me a diamond sword and I start slashing at them. You can see they have a helmet and a axe. Now if they kill them, they have a chance of dropping one of their items. See if they drop one of their items. This is gonna be for like a little local server that I, server that I'm making. So it's gonna be a fun server. Yeah. So if I start killing these guys, see if they drop anything. Not nothing. Really? Okay, then uh, let's keep killing them. There we go. He dropped a volcanic nugget, which I'm going to use to trade so you can make him drop things. Even though he's not like holding it away, it, you can make him drop it. And yeah, and, you, and I got some burnt flesh. Because the. I'll explain that later. And then we have these little piggies. Yeah. So let's kill these guys. Die. Die, 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 die. Die. Yeah. So they dropped. He dropped one of his axes. It's kind of volcanic axe. Dropped his two. Yeah. So they can. They, they have a random chance of dropping their items, which is awesome. Let's see if I can get. Yeah. There we go. Drop his helmet. That has protection five. So an axe helmet. So you can literally name anything. Enchant it and like do anything. These guys also drop volcanic apples. But the one thing you can't do is give them like a name tag. I think. Or at least I haven't found out how to do that. But yeah, this is gonna be like a little trading system server. And the only reason I have burnt flesh is because, well, I have. This is a, a giant. I crashed my Minecraft making this giant hole out of TNT. I spawned in a giant block of stone using MT Edit, and I spawned in lots of TNT. But what's gonna happen is I'm gonna put jungle trees all around, and it's gonna be like a vacant volcano and stuff. And over here we have a little teleporter. So, you. So it'll say your name and then stuff. Even though you'll never be able to play this, I thought I'd just show it to you. Yeah. Teleporter over here. Flashing lights. Lava. Funness. But anyway, the reason I have burnt flesh is because you can have, you can also use MC Edit for custom villager trades and stuff. So yeah, so I'll just fly down here to level one. As you can see, level two is quite bigger than level one. So yeah, let's jump down here. Another thing you can do with some quite snazzy filters that are already built into MC Edit, I um, make custom villager trades and stuff. So you can trade for like food and stuff. Which is nice. You can get quests. And then you can I made it so you can trade in the quests for miscellaneous items. And you get ender chest, you can get a boss key, which if you buy thus boss key, you can unlock the boss. And I made it burnt flesh so you can't use the old rotten flesh to buy stuff in level two. Thought that was a good idea. So this is level one and stuff. So that's all I have. Some normal zombie spawners and stuff. Sorry for that cut. Something happened. Um. Yeah. Anyway. So I got all this. So if you get the boss key, which you just kind of throw in here, it's called a dungeon boss key. Let me just get myself a piece of paper and an anvil, and I'll show you how this works. So I'll just rename it Dungeon Boss Key, like so, and I'll just throw it in, Pew. and it'll open, and then these guys come out. I renamed these because it randomly spawned with the name, so 
Yeah. No, random respawn with the. Oh, my God. That's what I was going for. So you just take your, take your key out. And then you live happily ever after at the end. Besides that, cool thing. I'll show you how it works also. Let me just get myself some mossy just to repair after I've broken the ground. All you have to do is just set up a comparator with the redstone running along to the door. That's it. And you have to make the exact amount of paper it takes to open the door with for the comparator to make that full travel around to your door. So just kind of experiment with that and then put what other items so you can't use any like different item and then just throw it in there and it opens up and it's magical. The other things I have are this. It's a mini boss. Just cool. And I have a pile up thing right here, which is snazzy. So anyway, this is level two. Tropical Taylor. Bark in here. We can go back to level one. Like so. It's quite magical. Quite magical indeed. Anyway. Yeah. So let's go. Let's head back. So open the screw across here. This is a gym's pub. We got some snazzy stuff to trade. Like that. Blood River. And then we have Tropical Terror, which has not been made yet. That's what I'm working on, as you can tell from this. So, besides what that sign says, let's head back, let's go over here, and I'll demonstrate how to use every single one of these plugins. Yeah, I totally didn't just have to make another cut right there, but anyway, so let's just get ourselves some chests, and some slabs to demonstrate. So... Make myself a little room right here. Pew pew pew. Do, do, do. So, yeah. 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 Okay. So, how this works is I want to start off by making a mob. So we can customize our mobs. So let's give him a leather tunic, a leather hat, gold leggings, and let's let him hold a rose. And we will also let him hold as a weapon a stone axe. That should work. Yes. So what you do is you come on, come on, axe. Okay, we do. So the first slot right here is the weapon slot, and this is the boots. And you put that if you want to hide it in them, so it will drop it randomly. Put that right there, because that's the pants. This is like the chest piece, and this is the hat. Okay. Now to make the villager, you would just make a that and then you want to make my little cage. There we go. Anyway, how did those guys spawn? I'm not gonna question it. So I'd put the chest down and then say I wanted to trade one diamond one diamond for let's say stack carrots you put that in that so that's the I no wait other around so that's the item you want that's the item you're gonna trade and that's what you're gonna get for it. You can also do say you wanna trade a stack of golden apples and a stack of rotten flesh for a rotten potato which I will obviously trade for. So you'd put 
So you'd have to trade one stack of rotten flesh and one stack of golden apples and a poisonous potato right there. So there we go. So that's that. And that's that. And I'll see you in MC Edit. I'll be right back. Okay, so we're in MC Edit. This little box right here. So we're just, what we're going to do is, this was our mob right here, so we're going to double click it. We are going to filter. Go down to the thing that we downloaded, which I'll post a video later about how to download and install things. Go to Gear and Mobs. So click that. You can make the change the mob type. I'm gonna make mine a uh, skeleton. And filter. Oops, I messed up. I didn't select it. So I click, click, and then filter. And that little red thing will come up. You can also go into create spawner and it'll make that a spawner. But we don't. Yeah, hey, let's make it a spawner. Why not? So there we go. So now that's a spawner also. So then, this is a villager, so we'd click. Oops. So we would click and click. And then we'd go to filter, create spawners, and we'd change it to create shops. We can change the kind of villager, I'll make it a blacksmith. And invincible villagers, no, because I want to end up killing it. And then filter. And turn it into a mob. And I'll see you back in Minecraft. Goodbye. So guys, welcome back. I have... Well, they have been mated aside. So that's just time set. Night? Not night, night. Night, night please. Yes, thank you. And those should start spawning soon. But all those start to spawn. Let's look at this little villager guy. So we can trade him a diamond for that. And these. So for that. There we go. So let's get ourselves a diamond. One diamond and flesh. Stack flesh. And golden. Gold. Golden apples. So you can give him a diamond. And he'll give you your apples. You can give him. You stuff, and he'll give you a poisonous potato. There you go. There we go. One of them spawned, and he'll have a chance of dropping the lows also. So there he is. Go away. Go away. Thank you. So now these guys spawn, so I can kill them, and they will hopefully drop something. Please don't hurt him. Actually, you can't hurt him. I'm done with you, you silly demonstration. You can also make the villagers and the spawners too, but that'd just be really annoying. Okay, drop something nice. But, looting. I'm not sure if this actually works, but I think it does. And an anvil. And yes, combined. So, is it that? And spawn for me. Yes. There you are. Giant. Yeah, okay, he's still dropping nothing. Well, they're spawning. Let's just go kill these zombies for add fun. Yeah, so awesome. Oh, these spawn from the spawner back there somehow. Yeah, they. Okay, so they do drop their items, as you can see. Chain suspect. Okay, let's kill this guy, thank you. And come on, drop your item. Ugh. The skeletons are being difficult with me. Again. Eh, good. So that's... Every, that's those two features that I've used so far. So MC edit in a nutshell, kind of. But yeah, about, yeah, sure. So yeah, everyone. That's really it. I guess I'll just update you, show you what I've done on my little server. Just because I got a, I did a okay job so far. So come on, just drop one of your items. Yes, he dropped his axe. I feel so special now. 
Uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. So, yeah, everyone, I hope you enjoyed that video. If you need any other help on figuring out any MC Edit shenanigans, you can tell me. Because, why not? Anyway, thank y'all, y'all, you all, for watching, and I'll see you with next time, which will probably be, like, either after or before the Awesome Knots video, I'm not, I'm not really sure, but that is coming out, not sure when, but it, it, it is coming, I'll tell you that much, so, what am I doing, I don't know. So goodbye, and I'm going to rain down axes on everyone that is the me.